This is Kat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've joined me here before. I'm here today to do a very special sneak peek for Diamond Art Club. As you probably know by now if you're watching this, Diamond Art Club is celebrating their five year anniversary and they are bringing us 40 new releases this weekend. It's gonna be a big one, <laughs> a bit hectic. If you're anything like me, you're stalking their Facebook page to see which ones come out every hour to kind of plan if there's any you wanna buy. And they were kind enough to send me this one to show you. So this is Daisy Love by Peggy Collins. <laughs> Excuse the reflection of my camera there. I absolutely love this painting. I can't wait to have a look at it with you. So let me get into it and while I do that I will explain to you what's going to be happening. So uh, the release time is going to depend on what tier you're in in Diamond Art Club's rewards structure. So if you are a Diamond or Ruby tier member, oh this plastic wrap is really tight to the box today I can't get it off. <laughs> um, yeah if you are a Diamond or Ruby tier member in the rewards structure and eligible for the early release um, then it will start for you at 9 p.m. Pacific time on Friday night. That's Friday the 2nd of June. If you're on Eastern Standard Time, that will be 12 a.m. And if you're like me and you're in the UK, it will be 5 a.m. So there's going to be an early start if there's anything that, <laughs> that you just you can't miss out on because you never know what's going to sell out. If you are not a diamond or ruby tier member, oh dear, I haven't done a very good job of taking that off, <laughs> then your release time will be the same time as it normally is, which means 9.30 a.m., 12.30 p.m. or 5.30 p.m. in those time zones I just mentioned on Saturday the 3rd of June. So those are your times to be looking out for. We had one day of uh, sneaks on Diamond Art Club's social media yesterday. So they've shown us the first eight. I'm filming this on Tuesday, <laughs> but actually you're watching this on Thursday, so you'll have seen lots by now. Anyway, there's some really, really lovely paintings coming out and a great variety, so hopefully something for everyone. So Peggy Collins is not by any stretch of the imagination a new artist to Diamond Art Club. They've brought out several of her paintings. This is the first one that I have of hers despite being sorely tempted by several in the past. And it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So it is a round diamond painting, which you can see by this round diamond branding here. And it is 76 by 50.7 centimeters, which I always think of as the sort of medium size category with Diamond Art Club. So this is the round branded box. On the back, you get some information like how it works and kit contents, um, but all the good stuff is on the inside. So let's have a look. <laughs> so Peggy Collins is a digital artist, according to her bio, and also a photographer. Um, and she lives in Canada. So there you are. A little bit of information about her there. So, when you open a kit from Diamond Art Club, you will get three items inside. One is this little sticker. Not three items, three separate packages. Um, you know what I mean. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll get this little sticker, which I personally like to put on the side of my box so that I can see them easily when I've got them stored in my cupboard. But you can do whatever you like with that. And you get a toolkit and you get the diamond painting itself, of course, in this nice branded dust cover. So let's take a little look at the toolkit first of all. It's a round diamond painting, so we won't get tweezers. Um, they only come with squares, but otherwise it's got all the usual suspects. And there's a little list of them there for you. Okay. <laughs> Pen tried to escape. So you will get a pen and matching squishy. The color may not be the same as what I've got here, but they will coordinate with each other. You get a little roll of baggies. You get a little pot with two plates of heart-shaped wax. 
Diamond Art Club Pink Wax is a very good pink wax. It's nice and thick, it lasts a good long time and I've used it very, very happily um, in the past. You get two multi-places. These are the thin plastic multi-places that I find work really well because they're nice and slender. Uh, you get a four-placer and a seven-placer. Your tray is a nice decent size and it comes with a stopper. Sometimes people aren't sure what this little seemingly random bit of plastic is, but it's a stopper for your tray. So it goes in like that, so that when you shake your drills around, they're less likely to come out of there. Then you will get a roll of washi tape. This will vary, uh, so you won't necessarily get this particular washi tape if you get the same kit. And the same goes for the cover minder, which is what this is. You will not necessarily get this cover minder or one anything like it. It's completely random, but they're always super fun. I love this. I've had some of the roses before, but not in this color. That is very, very pretty. A cover minder, if you're not sure what that is, you'll see it's got magnets on the back. And the idea of this is that you use it to hold your plastic cover out of the way of your diamond painting when you're working on it. So you pop this little magnet on the back of your painting, you pop this over the plastic cover where you wanna hold it out of the way. They connect through the painting and there you are. You're not fighting your plastic cover anymore. All right, let me get these packed away and then we can have a look at the painting. Right, so as I mentioned before briefly, your Diamond Art Club painting will come in this nice dust cover just to keep it all clean and tidy. <laughs> and it's often very, very sticky, but I think I've actually managed to get that off without ripping it for once, so <laughs> go me. <laughs> Inside you will find the super soft trademark Diamond Art Club canvas. These are so, so strokeable and soft. Um, and I really, really enjoy Diamond Art Club's canvas material. It's malleable, it's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's sturdy without being too firm. And it has this lovely soft backing. So, let me get all my innards out and take a quick peek at the canvas. And then I'll go over the details with you, so. I'm going to roll this back on itself. Diamond Art Club uses poured glue, which means that you can roll the canvas back on itself like this to flatten. Their canvases are also self-flattening, so you can just leave them lying out and they will flatten, given a little bit of time. I never do that. <laughs> Even when I'm not filming and needing to be quick, I don't have the patience, but as you will see, this does the job very well. So, here it is. It's lovely. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. I can't wait to get stuck into this one. Right, let me show you what else we've got going on in here. So you will find a thank you for your purchase leaflet. Um, and inside here, there's going to be some useful information, particularly if you've never bought from Diamond Art Club before. So you get a what's included, um, and it says it's velvet tarpaulin. I always forget that term, but um, yeah, tarpaulin is what the canvas is called. And as they say, it's patented, so you won't get this anywhere else. You get tips and tricks. You get a link to the VIP Facebook group. If you're on Facebook and you like to join groups, it's a great resource. All you have to do to be eligible to join is to have made a purchase directly from Diamond Art Club before. And you do need to do some admin, like you know your, your Facebook name matching the name on your Diamond Art Club account so that they know who you are, that kind of thing. Um, there's some QR codes to help you find things. There's step-by-step -step instructions. And on the back here, there is also a very important page inviting you to download the app. And if you have never purchased through the app before, you can get 20% off your first purchase through the app. Diamond Art Club have so many discount codes and things. Um, so anytime you're purchasing from them, just be aware you can always save money on the, site, on, on, on the price on the website. Um, I also have a discount code for Diamond Art Club. If you want to check that out in the description box, it will give you 10 US dollars or the equivalent in your currency 
off your first purchase from Diamond Art Club, but don't feel obligated to use that. As I say, there are plenty of codes, so just make sure you're not paying full price. Next up with Diamond Art Club, you will get this sticker sheet. Now, some of these have come up a little bit where it's got rolled around, but they're absolutely fine. So, first of all, on this half, you will see a larger sticker of the picture. This can go in your logbook or whatever else you like to do with it. And it's got a start date and end date and just reiterates the details like the artist, Peggy Collins, who, as I should have said before, one of the big things with a company like Diamond Art Club is that their artists are paid for their work. So all of the artwork that they sell is licensed and that means they have the artist's permission and that the artist receives commission for the sales of diamond paintings based on their artwork. And that's really lovely to see. Um, so we've got diamond shape round and the dimensions again, so all the key details reiterated for you there. This painting, oh that one really doesn't want to stick down does it? <laughs> I'll just be a little careful packing that away. This one has 64 colours. <laughs> the past few months has seen Diamond Art Club bringing out paintings with more and more colours and this is getting to be a fairly standard number of colours in a painting now and I love it, I love the variety. In terms of special drills, we have three AB drills. ABs are Aurora Borealis drills. Sorry, I had that off camera then, but it's these three up here with a DMC code under 150. So I'll, I'll have a look at, I'll, I'll pull those out when I'm looking at the drills with you in a moment. Um, but these are just drills with an extra special coating for added sparkle. And then at the bottom here, this Z letter before a DMC code denotes a special kind of drill that Diamond Art Club released in the last few months called a fairy dust drill. And again, I'll show you when we get to it, but those are super pretty. So I'm going to take a little look at the drills now. So I will try and minimize any crinkling, but do bear in mind there's bound to be some. So if this isn't your cup of tea, feel free to skip forwards to when I'm showing you the canvas in more detail later on. But here are the drills. Right, I am going to take them out of this bag off camera and then I'm gonna go through them quickly and show you what you will have to play with if you buy this kit. There they are. <laughs> Diamond Art Club arranges their drills by the size of the bag, not the DMC number. Um, just in case this is your first purchase from them, sometimes that feels a little confusing. Um, but it's actually quite handy for kitting up, so I like it. So let's look at the big strip of drills first. So there are two bags of this peachy colour. There's a nice beige, cream, lots of creams and beiges and neutrals in this painting, I reckon. Only this fairly small bag of 310 black. Lots of people like to avoid paintings with um, too much black in them, so, so yeah, good to know. Some lovely bright colours. I love a painting like this that has um, contrast in the colours. You know, there's lots of pale colours and then there's going to be bright colours like this popping out against them. I love that. This is a lovely shade of kind of very pale lilac, I would say, and then a lovely pale blue next to it. Ah, and here is the first AB. So just in case you're not familiar with AB drills, this is what they look like. 141 is a white AB and it has this lovely kind of almost pinky rainbowy coating on it and it just really works beautifully to draw your attention to certain areas of the painting for accents. I love these. Some more red and blues and browns. Oh I always like this shade. It's just a lovely shade of purple. Purple's one of my favourite colours. Lots more like that. And this is why there's so many colours, because, you know, you're not just going to get one shade of purple in a Diamond Art Club kit. You're going to get lots of shades, and then that is going to give you definition and detail in the painting. Ooh, lovely heavy purple there. And here's another AB. So you'll notice that these ABs are in the strips of bags that have a fair few drills in them, which means we're going to get a lot of these. And that is a lovely, bright, vibrant red AB, which is very pretty. Okay, 
So here are the sort of medium sized bags, very dark blue there. I always love this shade of, of pink, it comes up a lot. I think it's called Plum, I just think it's very pretty. Ooh, this 608 is practically neon. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but that is a really fun colour. More pale blues, more beiges, 550, another very popular colour, just a beautiful shade of purple. A few darker colours, but yeah, not too many of any coloured drill, really. It's going to be a lot of small sections of colour, which probably means confetti, but I'll get on to that when we look at the actual canvas. Here we are. Ooh, lovely pinks there. And the last strip of drills. Here it is. So here is the last AB. Very pretty blue. Oh, I like that one. I'm like a magpie. I like all the sparkly things. <laughs> Must be why I like diamond painting so much. Nice yellow there. Oh, I just love looking at the colours. <laughs> it gets me so excited. Very nice sort of baby pink. Is baby pink a colour? I don't know. I might have just made up a colour. <laughs> I'm keeping my eyes peeled for that fairy dust drill, which I haven't had yet, so it must be a small one. Ooh, no, ah, <laughs> there is one last strip of drills. <laughs> I got very confused for a moment there. <laughs> okay, slightly bigger ones than what I was just looking at. I like this deep royal blue, that is very pretty. And here is that fairy dust drill. So I'll do my best to get it to catch the light so you can see. Um, but yeah, basically, as you can probably just about see, they look broadly similar to normal drills, but they have this subtle glittery surface, which is just beautiful for bringing out the accents of the painting. And this is a very pretty colour anyway, This this sort of lilac-y shade that they've got here. I like that a lot. So those are the drills. I'm going to pan over the canvas in a bit more detail now just so you can see it all up close, get a good peek at it and then I will try and pull out where some of those special drills go. So I am just going to try and find where some of those special drills go for you. So the symbols for the ABs are, oh, focus camera, focus, <laughs> uh, one and a two for the blue and the red, and then this white dot, and then I'm going to be looking for this J for the fairy dust drill. So the one symbol I have mostly spotted up here in the blue section. So that's where you're going to find the blue ABs. I've been looking and looking, but I haven't seen it so much in the other blue areas and there weren't a ton of, of those drills in here. So that makes sense. The red ones, they're sprinkled around a little more liberally, I think. All of these red swirls seem to have a little dusting of red ABs in and in here as well. So just accents, you know, they're not dominant but they are going to be peppered through it fairly liberally. But not so much as the white ones, because this white dot is everywhere through the petals. And that's one of the things that really drew me to this painting was just looking at it 
and knowing it would be rendered with lots of sparkly bits for the magpies like me to draw us in and I have not been disappointed. So there's lots and lots of those white ABs all through the petals there. And then the fairy dust drill, again, it's spread around quite a lot and there's just sort of little bits wherever you see lilac really, uh, you'll see a few J symbols, so up here, up here, up here, up here, <laughs> uh, a bit up here, a bit over there, but over here, so they're, they're kind of everywhere too. I'm looking at it as well to try and work out how it stands in terms of confetti versus colour blocking. Um, confetti is where you're changing the drill colour in your tray all the time. So in a smallish section of the painting, you're maybe doing a few drills of one colour, a few drills of another, and then you're having to keep changing them out. And then at the other end of the extreme, colour blocking, if you just have a big block and all of it is one colour, that's extreme colour blocking. Um, but most paintings you have a mixture. And I would say that this is a painting that tends more towards confetti, which you can kind of guess from the number of colours in it, but it's, it's not extreme. So this section down here is obviously a lot more detailed because in the original artwork there is a lot of detail in this section. There's all sorts of shades and patterns in there and that needs to be rendered in. So that is going to take a little bit more time. Looking around the rest of it though, there are small blocks of colour all over the place. So I think a lot of people are probably like me and, and like to go for paintings that are a good mixture of confetti and colour blocking. And I reckon this, this fits the bill for that. You know, these petals and sections aren't gonna take too long because if you're like me and you like to multi-place, th there's gonna be a fair amount of scope for that, but you will be changing colour fairly regularly still so you don't get bored. I think it's pretty much spot on for my taste. I don't know about you. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is Daisy Love by Peggy Collins coming to Diamond Art Club this Friday slash Saturday depending on your time zone and whether you qualify for early release or you're waiting for general release. So a big thank you once again to Diamond Art Club for sending this over to me to show to you. I'm really excited to be joining in the anniversary fun and to have this beautiful painting to take a look at. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Um, if you have, please do drop a like on the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd love to have you join me here. Um, but either way, just thank you for watching and enjoy your anniversary weekend. Bye bye.